Good evening. Welcome to Jim Mooney's World of Weather. You clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast discussion for July 31st to August 12th. Forward the period August 31st to August 4th. Near to above normal heights are forecast across the nation. Split flow is, is forecast across here, across um, Canada and, and Western U.S. And <clears throat> we're going to go through the day. This is a GFS. And then we come to the fourth. See near to above normal heights. Here's our split flow. And we have a subtropical ridge covering much of the southern U.S. And if you look at the climate forecast system, you can see here that it's forecasting a little bit stronger of a ridge compared to the other models. Temperatures will be 10 degrees or more above normal for the plains and the mid Mississippi Valley in the east. The, the northern U.S. will experience below normal temperatures, above normal precipitate uh, temperatures forecast for the interior west and the southeast. Now the period for August 3rd to 7th. Here's the 5th. Um, most of the miles are indicating a very weak trough yeah, here across um, the northwest and near the, the, um, the northeast coast. This is the GFS. And we go to the 7th. We start seeing little evidence of a trough here. It's still a subtropical ridge covers um, the southern U.S. And we look at the rest of the models. So what we have are in pretty good agreement. The ensembles are in agreement with this pattern. During this forecast period, I am forecasting below normal temperatures here with anomalies of 3 to 9 degrees below normal and above normal temperatures forecast this region with anomalies of 3 to 12 degrees above normal. And I think um, the highest anomalies Um, maybe somewhere around here, um, part, part of the central Rockies for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation for the four corners and for the southeast, below normal precipitation forecast for the northern Rockies and the upper Mississippi Valley and the Mississippi Valley and um, the northern Middle Atlantic and the northeast. Now the pier for August 8th to the 12th. Okay, we're going to look at the period for 8th to the 12th. This is the 7th, and we can see we have a, pretty much a trough here in the northwest and the eastern U.S., and we have rising heights that occur here across um, south-central Alaska into the northern U.S., and there's this B response to a ridge across this area. Now, what's going to happen is there's energy that's going to um, sink southeast from Canada and phase with this trough here. And that's the European. And now we're going to look at the Canadian, uh, the GFS, I'm sorry. And the GFS also shows a trough here, a little bit of a stronger trough here across um, the northwest. Here's our ridge across the west, uh, the west central states. And then we look at the Canadian. It's showing pretty much the same thing. Now the ensembles, the ensembles are in good agreement with this. You can see here it is. The trough's now more centered here in the center of the nation across south central states. And then we look at the uh, the G GEFS. The ridge now is more across West Central States and pumps up to the uh, north. Here's our trough, trough. 
So there's pretty much in good agreement um, with this pattern. So during this forecast period, I am forecasting below normal temperatures here with uh, nominals at 2 to 4 degrees below normal or 3 to 9 degrees below normal and below normal temperatures here at 3 to 9 degrees below normal. No, I'm sorry. Uh, that's 2 to 4 degrees below normal here at 3 to 9 degrees here. Above normal temperatures forecast here. With the numbers at 3 to 12 degrees above normal and for precipitation. Cone 4, still a continuation of above normal precipitation for the four corners due to monsoonal moisture. And we have below normal precipitation from the northwest, eastward across the Great Lakes and the northeast. So that is a long range weather forecast discussion for July 31st of August 12th. Thanks for coming to Monday's World of Weather and have a good day.